Sup guys, Mark is here, and today I'm here to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy. Now this movie is special. It has that Futurama Rick and Morty vibe. You know that vibe where everything feels slightly off? But in a really fun way. To take these sort of villainous misfits and put them in a film filled with adventure, humor, and heart, all of it makes for an incredibly balanced film. So here are five things, in no particular order, that I liked about Guardians of the Galaxy. Number one, the comedy. This film has a very distinct sense of humor. It's that weird humor where you go, wait, what? You got dance-off challenges to supervillains, Drax not understanding metaphors. It's that early SpongeBob, early Adult Swim humor that I grew up with, so I loved it. My favorite gag is actually one of the smaller ones. It's that scene when Yandu is talking to the broker, but he keeps interrupting the broker by going, Wait, Ogale Bogle. You see, I can't. Ogale Bogle Bolo. I can't get Ogale Bogle Bogle Bolo. Number two, the music. Besides the comedy, the music also helps to give this film a very distinct style. It uses pop songs from the 60s and 70s. You got Rupert Holmes. If you like pina colada and getting caught in the rain. Blue Sweet. Hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing. And my personal favorite, The Runaways. Hello. Hello, Mom! I'm a ch 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 cherry bomb! Number three, the emotional moments. This fun sci fi space adventure comedy starts off with Star Lord's mom dying of a brain tumor. You get another scene with the drunk rocket upset over his own existence. Group makes the ultimate sacrifice, causing characters and audience members to cry. These moments show that this film isn't just about the silliness. There's real emotion there too. Number four, the character interactions. One great thing about the Guardians is that they're all very different people. Drax and Gamora are melodramatic in different ways. Rocket is always snarking. Star-Lord uses more pop culture references than Joss Whedon. And we all know about Groot. They each think that they're the same one, so seeing them react to each other's quirks is hilarious. It all definitely comes to a head in that 12% of a plan scene. Eh, it was barely a concept anyway. And finally, number five, Rocket Raccoon. Everything works with Rocket, and I mean everything. Whether he's kicking grass, threatening prison inmates, or leading an armada, Rocket is boss. He's like Daxter from the Jack and Daxter series, but cooler. So what about you? What are five things that you liked about Guardians of the Galaxy? What are five things that you did not like about Guardians of the Galaxy? Let me know in the comments. So, till next time, stay frosty.